Hi everyone, this is Orchid. I have decided to do a minor redo on my foyer. A few years ago, I laid this travertine tile in. I really loved it then, but it's real stone. We did seal it, but in spite of that, it has gotten real grimy looking. No matter how much we clean it, it looks the same. So I finally have time on my hands to fix this. Um, it was truly beautiful when we first put it down. The foyer has nine foot ceiling. This is going to be a general redo of the foyer. So I'll be showing you the other projects that I do as I go along. I am, however, replacing this with these, um, this porcelain um, tile. It has a marble look, measures 12 by 24. This is the packaging it came in just in case you wanted to know. I, ha I have seen something similar in Home Depot and it's reasonable price too. Now in terms of the tools you will need, um, there are so many videos here about tiling but I'll just walk you through this quickly. This is a trowel. I generally use this to kind of scoop the cement out of the, um, the, the bucket and then this is the um, notch trowel that you will use to spread the cement on the floor prior to putting the tile down. Now, in terms of grouting, you do need this grout float, and this is what you use to press the grout into the grout line once your um, cement is dried. And of course, you will need spacers. I'm using the 1 8 spacers. There they are. To make sure your floor is level, you do need a level. Uh, now you will need a mallet in case you check and it's not level to kind of tap it in place. I can't find my mallet so I'm just going to make do and use this carpet kicking tool. You know I used to be a Red Cross girl and we were taught you know how to make do. Um, this is a tile cutting tool that you can use to kind of snip away at little corners and edges if you need to kind of make some adjustment. I won't need that today. This is the premix grout. Um, making sure I got gray to kind of go with the tiles I'm using. This is the thin set mortar, the cement that is going to adhere the tile to the floor. Uh, easy, you get it pre-mixed, no sense of mixing it on your own. Now in terms of cutting the tiles, you do need a wet saw. I have this tiny little one here that I had bought refurbished a few years ago. And it was really cheap, like $60 I think. Um, there is a little receptacle for the water um, on top there is where you do the cutting that's the blade that's usually covered kind of guide the water to drip onto the tile to keep the dust down um, that's the wall there which is removable you can slide it back and forth depending on the size of your tiles but I'm sure you guys might have noticed something by now you see you have seen the size tiles I've decided to use and you are now seeing this tiny little tile um, cutter. Yes, it's not going to cut it. So I ran to Home Depot to rent the ones that they used for the larger tiles. And this thing weighed about 150 pounds and I was in no mood for that. See? Really huge tiles in comparison to the uh, tile cutter. So I kind of made, made my own little <laughs> retrofitted, you know, box thing built it up to the level of the tile cutter to kind of you know have the tile resting on while I slide it along to cut then to ensure that I'm cutting a straight line I use this um, ruler it there's another name for it I can't remember what it is to make sure I draw the line straight so therefore I can cut it because the wall that I showed you earlier is what is in place to ensure that you um, your tile is cut in a straight line. Now once you have done all the everything you have to do some cleaning up so you will need this sponge. Now what I generally do is cut my tiles ahead of time and kind of lay them out to see how they're gonna look before. Then once I do that I just go straight to the cement um, laying the cement on then I can just do all laying of tiles and not cutting in between. So there you are using your trowel to kind of smooth it over um, and then you put your tile on top. Now I didn't use a lot of grout because I didn't have a lot of clearance with regards to the door opening and shutting so I tried not to use too 
much of the cement to bring the pie too high if you understand what I'm trying to say I'm not a professional guy so I know there are going to be professionals who will look at this and make their comment I am a simple DIYer just trying to help myself um, doing things on a budget so just to let anyone else know so there I am just putting in my um, spacers this thin set dries very quickly so you have to move fast once you put it down so don't put down too much if you attempt to do this on your own Now you you will get to a point where you have these tr tricky little corners that it's really hard to kind of cut the tile. What I do, guys, because this is my own, my third time laying tiles, I use a cardboard template to kind of in the in the shape. Then I trace it out on the tile, and then I cut it. You know, I'm I'm fairly new to this, so this is 36 hours later. I'm removing the um spacers and then here I am putting in the grout remember when you're doing it you kind of press it in on a slant and then you smooth it over it's not really hard guys this is easy stuff and you can look at a thousand other videos on YouTube to kind of see um, how they do it but I generally just press it in on a slant and then I smooth it over to remove the excess Once you finish grouting, you need to clean up. So with a little water and your sponge. And here it is, guys. This is the finished product. I am so proud of myself. I mean, this is my second time laying tiles on the floor. I worked with mosaic tiles. And that was like the hardest thing ever. Um, this was fairly easy to me having done that. Um, only 24 square feet. Very hard to get a workman who's going to come out to work on 24 square feet so I decided to do it on my own and um, it turned out fairly well I would say it's 99% level um, thank you so much for watching guys bye now